All right, I'm going to read this real quick. All right. This is uh, from Alexander Colburn, The Golden Age at Once. Alan Chase and his legacy of Malthus says that 63, 678 people were compulsorily sterilized between 1907 and 1964 in the 30 states and one colony with such laws. But he also points out that these victims represent the smallest part of the actual number of Americans who have in this century been subjected to forced eugenic sterilization operations by state and federal agents. Chase quotes federal judge Gerald Jessel as saying in 1974 in a suit brought on behalf of poor victims of involuntary sterilization. Over the last few years, an estimated 100,000 to 150,000 low-income persons have been sterilized annually in federally funded programs. This rate, as Chase points out, equals that achieved in Nazi Germany across the 12 years of the 12 Reich of the Third Reich after the German Sterilization Act of 1933, inspired by US laws, went into effect. 62 million Germans were sterilized as socially inadequate. Now, of course, he's talking about, he's talking specifically about the sterilization programs, not the Holocaust. Mm -hmm. um, let's see, so basically, I, I'm noticing not too many people, but I do see like this one mm -hmm. uh, tendency and it goes back to like the population bomb by Paul Ehrlich and also this truly wretched, horrible essay called The Tragedy of the Commons by Garrett Hardin, which uh, mm -hmm. Daniel Denver does a really good job ripping apart in his new book. Um, and Hardin what like that essay basically is like a less it's basically like a thought experiment economics anthropology argument on why you can't have commonly uh commonly sourced resources essentially you need to have private property even though like he ignored huge amounts of anthropological evidence as an example on like indigenous communities successfully managing common resources as an example mm -hmm. and you know occasionally you'll hear like there's no doubt that right now we're doing a lot in terms of pollution and mm -hmm. we need to deal with the fact that like we cannot have endless growth or we will kill ourselves. That's already what we're experiencing. That's hundred percent true, but I've always been really allergic and really turned off and very disturbed by the class and racial and international Im uh, implications of population obsession. Mm -hmm. And I just also love that like Coburn was on it. Like I could pick other stuff, you know, that's more funny and I will next time, but I love that he was on it back then. And, yeah. and if you hear somebody going like, well, we do need less people on the planet. Tell them to shut the fuck up. Mm. And you know, you definitely should. And Coburn, Coburn too. Um, I mean, I don't know. I'm not from California, but I just know from being a fan of his, like he's definitely in that kind of California environmental community where there were people who actually were like, you know, real population uh, wackos. And, you know, the thing is like, whenever people start saying that there need to be less people, they typically mean that there needs to be less of those people. Indeed. Um, yeah. Uh, we can, we can provide for everybody on this planet, but our system is the problem. It's like Gandhi said, we can provide for everybody's you know, need, but not their greed. What do you think of that, Tulsi, Gandhi? <laughs> you know what we should do, actually? <laughs> Speak about Coburn and his more funny things. Yeah, we Tulsi. Should, uh, we should do a dramatic reading of his... Do uh, you uh, uh, remember when Bill O'Reilly got in trouble for all of his sexually explicit uh, phone messages? Oh, yeah. Uh, so we, Coburn has a really great... <laughs> has a really great essay about the mystery of uh, Bill O'Reilly's loofah and falafel. <laughs> it's very good. <laughs> All right, we'll get to that. That's mm -hmm. hilarious. You just watched a Michael Brooks show video. Subscribe to get them all. Why wouldn't you? Don't be foolish. Click subscribe below and become a patron as well. Patreon.com slash TMBS. Thanks, everybody.